Hello YouTube. Uh, this is my video analysis on the HDTelevisiai.com uh, review where they took the LG 29E EA93 versus the Dell U2913WM, you know, the two 21 by 9 inch displays. I actually have a as a lot of people have commented it on here, they actually have a, one of their studio lights kind of shining on one of the monitors, so you can't really compare the monitors side by side. So it makes it really hard. But one thing I'm curious about is how fast is the refresh rate? So using a Firefox add-on, I did download the video in 1080p, which if you are curious, the video is only 166 megabytes. I do have the video right here, which if you are curious, once I find where the video is located on my hard drive, there it is. Okay, here's the info about it. They shot it at 25 frames per second, which is going to make this a little hard. You know, 1080p, and that's how YouTube encoded the video. So let's go ahead and open up Adobe After Effects and jump ahead into this video. What I'm going to do is, as you can see, there's a bunch of really fast motion on these two screens. So what I'm actually going to do is zoom in so you can see both the screens and using the page up or page down I can go up or down frames you can see because of that slow 25 frames per second frame rate when these guys move you get a weird blur which I don't know if it's just because of the frame that might be the frame rate or what settings they had their camcorder set at so it could just be that they were shooting at a really low frame rate so they get a little bit of motion blur which is, you know, not good for this kind of comparison. So here I got both of them up. We can't really compare the black levels very well because of the studio light shining on this one. Because right now you look at it, oh, this LG looks amazing. And this one, the blacks look like they are horrible. Because, actually, let me go ahead and open up Adobe Lightroom just to give you guys another example. I do not have Lightroom there. One second, let me f go and open up Lightroom real quick on my PC and I will show you because I actually currently have two monitors as the picture will bring up right here here is actually what my desk looks like I got this ASUS monitor and I have this Acer monitor they are both LCD TN panels this ASUS one is a good panel and this ASUS one is definitely not as good because actually I went and bought a one from Walmart it was an L a T a HP panel as you can see the black levels on this you know, on my ASUS look amazing but on this HP one they look like crap so here if I go ahead and put the same image up there you can see this one has like a really blue effect this one does not you know if I look at a different angle like I have this tilted way far back at least when I was viewing it that looked amazing but I had to have the screen really far tilted back here was the uh, new monitor where I was messing with it trying to get the lighting good for taking a picture as you can see on this one both the black levels look pretty much about the same I have a, my screens Mr. Five screens that were running that's why you see this line right here and I should not show that image okay so let's go ahead and close that and reopen this back up so I don't know what I was expecting with that but uh pretty much yeah I guess um for me, I want a monitor that has a really good black level because when I'm looking at videos side by side between both my monitors, one of them, the blacks are black, the other one, the blacks are like gray, and it drives me insane. Plus, you know, I'm really leery with LED monitors because 
that HP I bought was an LED monitor and every the, the backlight behind it is more of a white which made everything look blue even though I went into the control panel and tried to tweak the colors I could not get the colors to look good at all but I bought this you know uh, LCD panel and I got the colors to look exactly how I like so I'm kind of leery but it might be because it was a TN panel these IPS panels they say are supposed to have a lot better color so hopefully anyone that has an IPS panel that is an LED backlight can give me like a go ahead to say yeah the colors do look amazing they're not you know the backlight is not like annoying blue and it doesn't make everything look like crap but let's go ahead and start on my analysis after I did that huge rant six minutes into the video I finally start so go ahead and hit, hit page down actually let's zoom out so we can see both of these so now if we go ahead and look at these see if we can spot something where okay there where the screen went black the Dell went black first and the LG is still a little bit there okay and then the frame later it finally disappears and then they both come back at the exact same time there so that's kind of a hmm this right here when they're turning I do looks like the to me it looks like the Dell had more of a blur but I can't tell I see same thing with a fade out to the The Dell faded out first before the LG did. And they both come back up at the exact same time. So, see, there's a little bit of a transition. This happens at the exact same time. And they disappear. You still see a little bit of a ghost after image, though, on this LG one. Whereas I don't notice it on the Dell. So, that's what's like, hmm, the Dell was always being whoa I crap I hit the home key son of a okay let's hit the right key on the keyboard let's go ahead and get back to where I was because yeah here it was always that the the Dell started let's see here the Dell starts fading out first I remember right okay Dell fade out first and this one where was I at Where was I at before the stupid thing decided to go flying like a freaking maniac and made me lose my position where I was showing something? Okay, boop, 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 boop. Okay. There, uh, let's see. So yeah, it looks like that LG is actually a little slow. Because see that you still see that little bit of the after image there. There, you both see the guys coming up at the same time there. Thing there looks good. Those things appear at the same time. Let's see what about this fade out? It looks like it fade out happens at about the same time. Here, both see them about the same time. Go back. Transition. You yet yeah, yeah, again, you still see a little bit of after image on this one. So the Dell actually looks like it's the better one out of at least comparing the way they do that. And what is with his expression? So at least according to me, yeah, the Dell I think looks a little better. Yeah, see, Dell's changing faster there. So the Dell seems like it has, but I wonder if the Dell has a little bit faster response time. Yeah, see there, it looks like, definitely see right there. See, all of a sudden, the Dell's like, hey, here's the image. And the LG's like, oh, let me load the image. Oh, there's the image. So, yeah, that makes me wonder. I think the Dell might be better, but I think if I remember seeing on the website, doesn't the Dell have, like, a 9 millisecond refresh rate and the LG had a 5 millisecond refresh rate? 
So how is the Dell faster if it has a slower mega millisecond refresh rate? So that's kind of wondering. Both images appearing there. The Dell Lutha goes a little bit brighter faster than that LG there for that fade in there. Oh, you hear this to this white flash. Yep, yet again, the Dell starts to bring up the white faster than the LG. And next frame, they are both blindingly white. So, yeah, at least for me, looking at these two, I think the Dell one looks like it has a little bit faster refresh rate. But I would be curious to see what these guys are actually saying about the monitor because I do not speak a word of whatever language they are speaking, so I cannot actually hear. It's hard to tell because, like I said, of the uh, you know, they both there, there, both of them pop up at the exact same time. So it's like, oh, no, it doesn't look. And their frame later, that one actually gets to its full brightness. So they both appear at the same time, but the Dell was at its full brightness. The LG took another frame to get to its full brightness level, so... Hmm. But right now, when you look at both of these screens... Like I said, this one looks blacker, this one looks more gray, but... Because they had that stupid studio light reflecting on it, so... I, th I think I do remember... Let's not open up Chrome, you stupid mouse clicking... You know, there's my comment asking them about stuff. And I think I remember someone saying, uh, Let's see, thank you. I was not aware this is the only comparison done in video format. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they, they, they're saying, yeah, the LG appears to have better colors. Uh, LG's website states that the uh, LG is 5 milliseconds and Dell is 8 milliseconds. Yeah, and some guy I know was saying, here's it right here. English up, please, English up, please. I think some, there we go. Why are your studio lights constantly shining onto the Dell panel and not the LG? You're supposed to be showing them side by side in identical light. Instead, you practically sabotage it to make it look like the LG is better. So, yeah, that's not very professional. So, this guy is exactly right. So, yeah. At least for me, comparing these two video, the these, this guy's review, I think the Dell looks like it's a little bit better. If we go ahead and bring it up on New Egg right now, the three uh, 2560 by 1080 monitors that are currently available, there is the AOC one, which I have yet to see a review. I did see this one guy that does have an unboxing video of it. And I did ask him if he'd be willing to post a video about the thing. He has not responded to me yet. But hopefully we'll see some videos about this AOC one. Because as you can see, the price of the AOC one is a lot cheaper than the Dell and the LG one. As you can see, like I said, 5 milliseconds, 8 milliseconds, 5 milliseconds. They're all IPS panels. All have the same viewing angle. All have the same color rating, all have the same brightness. Contrast ratio is a little different between these guys. These two are both uh, uh, 50 million to one, and this one's like 2 billion to one dynamic contrast, but only 1,000 to one regular contrast. So I'm not sure because these guys don't say this is dynamic contrast or regular contrast. And I'm not sure what GTG means. I know it stands for got to go, but what does it mean in panel? If someone can go ahead and comment and let me know. Let's see. This, this guy I know has two display ports. We can do display port in, display port out. And let's see. It's built in speakers. I don't really care. So, at least for me looking at these, I think the Dell one looks like it's the best. But I'm not sure. But yeah, I know if we look up this Dell. It, at least right now, as of this video, as of uh, 
April 24th, 2013. Uh, Newegg is uh, wanting $649 for it. But I know if you search on Amazon, I believe they have it for like 619 with uh, free shipping. Of course, Amazon is still temporarily out of stock, but you can get it from one of these other vendors. You may hear my heater running in the background, like I, excuse me, said. So, hopefully, you know, we get more info about these monitors and they go down in price soon. If you haven't seen the video, I really recommend that you watch this video by the uh, widescreen gaming forums thing where they take that Dell monitor and they actually show like it off a little bit and then they also show as you can probably see by the little thumbnail it decides to actually load there we go you can see how they show three uh, 1080p monitors versus the 120 y9 you can see how you see both screen side by side which is when you can't and then they also show off like a bunch of games showing like Borderlands and Guild Wars and uh, uh that one uh Tom Clancy Hawk game they also show Hitman and then they also show some MMO they show Rayman Origins they show Sleeping Dogs you know they show uh Looks like League of Legends, show The Witcher, how oh, they're saying this game doesn't support it, even it still pillar boxes it, you know he has the settings set right, and also I think Assassin's Creed also doesn't work as well, but it'll be interesting to see once these monitors come out and what happens with them, so thanks for watching, leave any comments, and if I want to get the one, like, one of these, that. Whenever I decide to get one of these monitors, I will have to let you guys know and we'll try to post some videos about the monitors and stuff. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for more future contents. I am doing a Let's Play right now of Final Fantasy 3 on the Super Nintendo. So if you remember playing that game as a kid or I've never seen it, you should really check it out. The games, yeah, I, the game is probably I think one of the best at least in my opinion but I haven't really played that many of the other Final Fantasies so that's kind of a topic from the topic of this video so I'm gonna let you guys go goodbye